Welcome to my trading Bitcoin and gold video. I'm going to take a look at Bitcoin and at gold mainly. We'll uh, uh, take a brief look at the S&P and oil and may, maybe at one uh, shitcoin for fun. But uh, uh, that will be it for the charts and uh, I will take a look at my tweets afterwards uh, too. Uh, do I start with my tweets or with the charts? Um, I think I'll, I'll start with the charts and then I go uh, to my tweets. I think I'll do it this way uh, today. So let's go into screen share and I'll show you my disclaimer. and will advertise my service to you in case you are interested. Uh, so here, uh, you should be able to see, let me just make sure that I uh, clicked on the right screen share. Screen, yes. Okay, I've done it correctly. So uh, now you see my disclaimer in English. Uh, please read it. The link is in the description of this uh, intervention, this video. Uh, I have the same disclaimer in French and in German. You can read it in uh, your language. Just, just to make, uh, so that you know that trading involves risk and that you should not uh, put more money in than you can afford to lose and so on. Uh, so please read it through. And if you're interested in my services, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, service where you can ask me any question and I'll help you mostly around finance, but I also, I'm also a philosopher. So if you need philosophic uh, help, uh, I will do it. Anyways, there's a great link between philosophy, real philosophy, stoicism and trading since uh, you cannot be a good trader if you don't have, uh, if mentally you're not up to the task. So the mental part, uh, the psychological part is really important. That's why most people lose money. 90% uh, of traders lose money because they can't, um, um, they can't make a proper, um, management of their emotions. So uh, that's if you want to uh, one on one trading. Uh, my fees are here for one hour. And if you want uh, a special limited mentorship, I give you a 60% discount. So uh, that will be 1K um, and you get uh, doing six months, uh, 10 interventions. Okay. that's um, uh, 10 personalized interventions up to one hour each. Well, you can read uh, the detail um, once you click on my web page. Okay, that was for the disclaimer. And now that we have done that, we can start with the uh, charts. So I'm going to we jump straight into Bitcoin five minutes chart and um, here I did label it a one, two, three and I would have liked a, a wave five but until now we don't have a wave five. So I'm not sure that this is a one, two, three wave because it also could be an ABC. And as you will see, if we are in a triangle, it is an ABC and not a one, two, three, four, five. So but uh, anyways, I'm bullish because uh, even if it's an ABC, I expect uh, uh, prices to rise again, just as they did after those, uh, this correction. So now we're still correcting and um, I'm leaving the possibility open that we are having a one, two, three, four, five wave, an impulsive wave. But in that case, we should, uh, wave four cannot trade below uh, this level, 8,959. And um, wave two, yeah, uh, should not, uh, wave four should not trade uh, below that level. 
So we have to see if that happens. And this line is the, the starting line of the, this would be the starting line of the impulsive wave and wave two would not go below that, uh, that wave. So the, uh, after a one, two, three, four, five impulse wave, you get an ABC correction and that should not go uh, below 8,843.84. Okay, now I show you the triangle. And as I uh, said here, is it a triangle or a running flat? Because it could be both. It could be a running flat since that was wave five of the uptrend, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so after that, after five waves, you uh, you get a correction. And right now we are still in that correction. So uh, I've labeled this one with A, B, C, D, E. And if that's the case, we would be in a tri triangle, but it could also be only an A, B, C, and we go up from here uh, without making the E wave down. So I'm, I'm not sure which one is the case. I can't tell you for now because it could be a running flat uh, since uh, wave B, um, yeah, uh, since wave C is, did not go as uh, low as wave A, it could be a uh, running flat. But I can't tell you now until I've, see, I've seen how we break out of the triangle. Once we break out of the triangle, our target is at 11.5k. Uh, uh, so that would be our, our, our ta target once we break out of the triangle. If it's a triangle, if it's not a running flat, but in both cases, we should be positive uh, bullish. In both cases, uh, price should move up from here. Here's my uh, weekly outlook, and uh, this is not exact, but it, it helped me somehow. Uh, those waves are, aren't uh, actually what they should be, just a little help to me. So I, I, I've uh, made it a one, two, three, four, and five, and here I've put an extended wave three, but um, uh, that's, not, uh, that's not really what's happening. So I take this with a grain of salt. What I'm looking for is I want to see a one, two, three, four, uh, five, just as I saw here, an impulsive wave. I want to see it here. And for now, as I can't label it, so I did my best to label it as I could, but that's not exact. Don't take it, uh, take it with a grain of salt. I think that the direction is right, but uh, the labeling is not uh, as it should be because on the lower time frames, it doesn't uh, hold up. Here we had wave one and the uh, extremely deep wave two. And now I'm expecting us to be in a wave three. I expected price to be much higher right now. They are not, so uh, there's not much I can tell you uh, more than what I have already told you, that I think that there's a triangle and that price could be going up uh, here extremely fast. And that's what I'm expecting. So. I hope that I don't have to push out wave three along uh, a long, for a long period uh, because uh, because we, uh, wave two was that long that now I I, I want to swift to uh, wave three but we'll see about that. Here we have the stock to flow model and right now we are holding above the middle line which is very nice and um, price should be rising extremely fast from here on. Uh, next year, we should be around uh, 40K. Let's take a look at it. Uh, just skip to manual. Next year, uh, here, uh, this is next year. May next year, let's see if that is correct. Um, Twenty-one, yes, uh, May next year, June, May next year, we should be at forty k, according to stock to flow. So let's see if that holds, and let's see if that will happen. I'm expecting it to happen. 
Um, now we jump into gold, uh, the five minute chart, and we are we had a one, two, three, four, five, a very nice uh, impulsive wave. Uh, according to Elliot, every rule and and guideline was uh, respected, so I'm extremely confident confident with that. Then we had an ABC correction, and now we already are in the uh, we already probably made wave one. We gapped even. I did not know that it was possible <laughs> to gap on gold because I haven't seen a gap in a long time. But we gapped, and we are up here now. So. Um, so this could be already wave one, but uh, we have to see, we have to see. Uh, anyways, if that's wave one, we get a wave two, three, four, and five. So I'm extremely bullish and confident on the outlook uh, shorter term uh, of uh, gold. If we take a look at uh, the one day, you can see more. And I just want to show you that we had a triangle uh, here in A, B, C, D, E, and that we did break out of the triangle. Let's, let me show you with the four hour chart, it will be more clear for you. So here we had the triangle A, B, C, D, E, and we already broke out. We, are all, uh, we could be uh, having a triangle on, um, on Bitcoin, but uh, however, it's less, it's less uh, probable because on Bitcoin, the issue is that uh, it is, if I'm not mistaken, we have, we, yes, it, it, it was um, the start of a wave three or a wave, um, uh, it is probably a wave two uh, on the smaller time frame. And you don't get triangles uh, on wave twos, you get triangles on wave fours. So since this is a wave two, the probability is actually uh, extremely low that it is a triangle. It is more probable that we have an, that we are having, um, as I labeled it here, a running flat. That's more probable. Uh, to go back to gold, so we have the, the triangle and we broke out, which was nice, but we did not reach our target. So according, we only made 50% of the move, which to me was quite surprising, but that was the case. And then we had um, a, se a severe uh, bear market where we went even lower than the start of uh, wave one here. And now, as I told you, everything is looking fine again, since uh, we uh, had the one, two, three, four, five wave and the correction and now wave one. And uh, we are in the process of making wave two or we already did it. It could be done already. Wave two could be done here. Or we are still in wave one and we'll, we'll then make a correction uh, higher. But anyways, I'm extremely bullish on it. And the gap tells me that wave one could be extended, which happens uh, sometimes. The most frequent wave to extend is wave three, but wave one can extend too. So that is for, uh, for gold. And now I'm going to take a look at the S&P and I'm bullish on the S&P too. Since we had a one, two, three, four, five, then the correction A, B, C. And now we're in the process of doing wave one. So I'm ex after wave one, I'm expecting correction wave two, which could be quite sharp. Then wave three, four, and five. So, uh, and once we add wave five, we should be at new all time highs on the SP. So, uh, uh, from a technical point of view, uh, I must be bullish right now on the SP. And let's take a look at uh, shitcoin. Uh, I'm not recommending in any way or form to you to invest in that shitcoin. I'm just looking for fun on it since I have it open right now. And, and yes, uh, so here we had a uh, five way up, then we had a, a correction ABC, then were again five way up, then ABC correction. Uh, wave C was sharp, a zigzag, a sharp zigzag, and now we could be in a one, two, three, four, five up wave. So on that sheet coin, we, it is looking bullish for now. And we had a gap here too, which is also a bullish sign. Uh, and we finish with oil, something more serious. 
so oil, uh, we could have had a five wave up, with wave five being nearly a truncation. It was, uh, it did not go really high. Now we could be in a correction, ABC correction, and then we should go higher again. So if this is an uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, then then uh, wave two won't go uh, below the start of that impulsive wave. But if it's an A, B, C, um, then we go <laughs> could go negative again. So I would be bullish on on uh, on oil two if I look at that and uh, that labeling is correct, which I expect. Now that we have done, um, now that we have took a, took a look at my charts, I'm going to take a look at my Twitter. And we'll go over my tweet since my last intervention. So this tweet is uh, quite important because it is uh, the small thing that could make me bearish on Bitcoin. And it would make me bearish on Bitcoin because, because of, um, because of, uh, of the following. Uh, there are two, two alternatives. The one that, that we just looked at is the second big is this one that I showed you, okay? And here we have one, two, three, four, and we are in the process of doing wave five, which would be extremely bullish. But uh, this wave, this uh, labeling could be correct too, because it gives more data points. And then you had one wave one, two, three, four, five, and then, and then you could expect a correction up to wave four, which would be uh, below 1K. It would be around 200. So that would be extremely uh, bearish and it could be possible. If I look at this, uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is reasonable. And um, the thing is, where do you start wave one? As I said in my tweet. So I still expect this one to be the correct interpretation. And in this case, Wave four was here, and we already retraced enough since it is actually the wave four. It is the end of the wave four, but it could be the beginning. Here, it slightly touched the wave four, so this is enough uh, for the correction. And um, I still would lean into the bullish, uh, the bullish outlook. But the the alternative outlook is the bearish outlook, and it gives you a target of two hundred. So you just need to know it. that's the risk you have. There are risk and rewards, and both interpretations are reasonable from a technical point of view. But I, my favorite one is this one, and I'll stick with it until I can't. For now, I can, so everything is fine. I won't be able to stick to it if we, if we go below... Um, those levels in red, uh, 3,585 or uh, 3,122. Uh, uh, if you go uh, below those levels, I might have to change my opinion. But until then, I'll stick to the bullish outlook. Uh, then I made the uh, next tweet I've made was, if you put emotions into trading, you never will make any money. And that's why, as I said, uh, while I was starting, that's why uh, my uh, stoicism can help you that much because it helps you learn to handle your emotions well. Uh, next tweet, the market behavior is dictated by Elliott waves, not by fundamental re related to events, economic models, a random work, or conspiracy theories. So the tool that works best, according to me, and I'm uh, willing to learn, but uh, with all the books I've, I've read, with all the lessons uh, on economics I had on university and uh, before that, and with all my research for, uh, until today, I haven't found anything that works better than Elliott waves. But uh, really uh, what works uh, and the opposite um, 
amount as bad are events, news. So news never work in any way or form, according to me. At least you can trade them. Um, and economic models uh, are mostly wrong, so that doesn't uh, turn up. And uh, what the work is uh, is uh, just as wrong as conspiracy theories. So all that stuff does not work. And every beginner, every guy who doesn't understand crap about markets, thinks that uh, has never heard about any waves, but they think that events, uh, economic models, or uh, when they work, or conspiracy theories make up the price, and they are always, always wrong. Uh, here's my next trick. There, this is to make sure uh, that you get the coronavirus of the guy you are sitting with. So that was a picture of a restaurant in uh, uh, Niente, um, at, uh, somewhere like Amsterdam, Niente, um, Niedertals, Niedertals, <laughs> I don't know how you say it in English, Holland, I think you say Holland, Nederland, or Nederland maybe. Holland, you, you probably say Holland. So uh, this is a picture and you see the, uh, those guys in that uh, small, thing and uh, it is great if you want to catch coronavirus of the guy you are sitting with. That was uh, just a, a, a funny tweet. I don't really like this clip but a different lifestyle and a different system is possible. We just need to uh, radically change the rules of the old one. So watch that uh, YouTube video if you want to know what I was talking about. Here Annualized supply inflation uh, on the USD it's 21.6% M2 uh, money on Bitcoin is 1.8% and on gold it's 1.6%. Uh, uh, so Bitcoin is still has still a little higher inflation than gold, but that will flip uh, that will flip in the during the next uh, four years. Here we have stock to flow model, and I'm just uh, showing it. The future looks cool, but it's a nightmare if you step out of the line. And that was a picture about um, tracking people in China, I think. Uh, take a look at it, then you know more. And here was my last uh, Bitcoin intervention. So uh, that was all I have to say for today. Uh, don't hesitate uh, requesting my service if you are interested and you need some help. It really helps a lot. Um, uh, so if you can uh, afford them, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, uh, thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.